day 865 off the grid and finally today the generator's back with the seal it was just seal here on the bearing between the basically the petrol engine and where the alternator started inside here Steve ordered a new one wasn't quite the exact size but he says it's a tight fit so we're hoping I've already started reassembling it I've bolted it to the frame and I decided I might just continue out here doing it because there is a bit more room. I'm not going to say how many days or weeks we've been off the generator yet until this is actually going because we might still be off the generator so I'm not going to jinx it. I'm just going to carry on and put it back together. I decided it wouldn't be a good idea to restart this generator for the first time in over a year with petrol that's been sitting in the tank that long so I've decided to drain the tank before I reinstall it so I've got this arrangement here good old TPS sheafing made up a wee tube there already filled one whiskey bottle of old fuel will we get another? we'll certainly get some it flows quite slow but quite consistently there we go whiskey certainly helps in more ways than one well as you can see I've got it all back together didn't take really that long I think it actually took less time to put it back together than it did to take it apart here's my improvised funnel putting some oil back in there I just made this before I'm quite pleased with this funnel and here's the easy way it's tidy but it's quite slow so I thought I'd just hold it up there while I fill it up oil's making its way in I've put one sort of cup full of that in and this is the second lot the first one just took it up to the bottom of the low mark so hopefully this will be it I can flick it out, test it, put that back in without pulling it apart anyway so that's pretty cool but of course the next step after this is putting the petrol in and seeing if she'll actually go actually, huh I got ahead of myself. I've still got to connect these wires back up to the alternator. Okay, well that's not a biggie, is it? Well, still might as well get the oil in now. In fact, I could start doing the wiring while the oil's going in. Couldn't I? Well, and there we have it. You know, that's that's music to my ears just like the guys on dust boot when they got the submarine going again serious shit man serious shit took a few cranks to get it going i'll tell you but i knew it would take a while with that old fuel and crap like that in there but it's going it's putting out some voltage i haven't put any loads on it yet It's throwing out any oil, which is the main thing. So I think we should maybe give it a bit of a soap test and charge some friggin' batteries. I'll let it warm up on its own first for a few minutes before I connect anything to it. And we'll start off fairly easy. Maybe the 10 amp charger on the freezer batteries. Uh, so good to hear that thing purring again, but I have heard it purring before it went away to get fixed. It would just only purr for 10 minutes and then stop. So I guess we've got to wait 10 minutes, don't we? But I'm not seeing any oil fucking off, so... It's looking good, and this is a good place to spot it from. Bloody hell. Today, today is the 19th of May, and the other generator crapped out on the 4th of April. So, you do the maths. It's over six weeks, not quite eight. <coughs> Six weeks and one day going by calendars, I guess. Something like that. A fucking long time to be heading into the autumn. 
fully off grid without a genie. Yep. See, I got the generator set up right by the house. It's, it's not very loud at all, is it? It's not very loud. It's quiet as a mouse. It's got to set up right by the door here. Right by the door. Okay, we're actually charging now. The green cord is running the 10 amp charger on the 24 volt bank. I'll run that for about 10 minutes, then I'll put the main charger back on. It'll be really good to have the marine charger again. Really good. Life will be so much easier.